Here we go. Another edition of the Knicks Post Game Live presented by Manscaped. Preseason edition. Knicks get another dress rehearsal victory. Big victory tonight. 131 to 114 over the Hicks. Which is always good whether it's preseason or regular season against the Pacers. But that's not the story, Al. It is what it is. It's preseason. The story is... OB needs minutes. Those three words. OB needs minutes. Because OB Toppin once again had MSG rocking. 24 points. 10 of 14 from the field. Excellent night for OB, man. And the OB chants were going wild in the second half, man. As I said, 10 of 14. Had a key block on one end. Comes back on the other end with a nice between the legs yam over TJ McConnell, a known Nick Nemesis. Nice job. Obi needs minutes. Needs minutes. Thank you. He, he needs, Thank he you for saying that. Minutes, he, he needs minutes, you know. I mean, it's beyond obvious. You know, we, we talked about the stats last year, how, you know, his on-off efficiency, 93rd percentile in the league, and it was on display today. You know, out in transition, which is a specialty. Cherry picked a couple nicely. We need that. We need easy buckets. Shot the three ball fairly nice. You know, in the first half, it was a little rough going. Second half, locked in, mm -hmm. was really dialed in, was hitting him from the top of the key. He was working, you remember in the summer when they were showing um, the off-season workouts and he's working on some dribble moves on the baseline. Had a couple between the legs, a couple around the back. And people were like, oh, well, he's only, you know, he's going up against, you know, high school kids. He, he, brought, he brought out the Arsenal today. Look good, man. Look good. 24 points for Obi Toppin, man. Give me, give me your thoughts. Look, man. All I can say is that he's not a dud, right? He's not... <laughs> A dud Look. pick. This kid came oh, out here. I'm gonna let you finish. I'm gonna points. let you finish. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do, do you think? Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Go, okay. Go okay. Just want to say he got 24 points. Yeah. 10 for 14 in 20 minutes. Yes. He was four for seven from the three. From uh from three. You know. Okay. I wish I saw a little bit more rebounds from the dude. Okay. Three rebounds for tonight. But when you watch this kid, you see the energy. You mm -hmm. know you need him on the court. Transition, dude. I can't. I can't get over how he went behind the back, yeah. drove to the basket, went against two defenders, and finished in traffic Yeah, while in midair, okay? He shot very well tonight. You know, we had the four highlight dunks. That just gets not only the crowd going, but it gets the bench going. It gets everyone on the court going. The more minutes this, kid's ha this kid gets will help the New York Knicks win basketball games because you just see. He just makes the game that much easier. We had... It was just it was just electric, man. He's just an electric player. He needs to get more minutes, but he is not, and I say he is not a dud pick. RJ, another efficient night, bro. What can you say about RJ, man? Knocked down four threes, four threes tonight, three the previous night. Jumper's looking good. Mm -hmm. Think he went another two for two. About that mid range. Mid range. He I think he went like what, like one for two from the mid range. He knocked down a couple. Yeah. He bricked one kind of badly from the free throw line, but um I thought overall the shot, shot's looking good. You know, I, I thought RJ shot is a, looking good. He had a nice fadeaway jumper, and I was I was a little I was shocked by the fadeaway mid range jumper that he knocked down. But I thought RJ's game was I thought he was very decisive and very on yeah. point when he wanted to attack, when to get his teammates involved. I like that he led the offense in the first half. And then you just saw, besides R.J. Barrett just going off in the first half, you then saw Brunson and then Randall start to trickle in. And you just see how with those three that it can kind of change gears as the game goes on on who can provide scoring. That I want to point out, and I, I really liked about that. But R.J.'s game tonight – he played 27 minutes. I like how Tibbs was leaving him in there with the second unit for yeah. for extensive stints. That I think is something that we're going to see this upcoming season. You know, we asked for uh, some staggered minutes with these players, right? And so many of these rotations. Maybe it was because you don't have Quentin Grimes and Evan Fournier tonight. They see RJ doing that, but I hope that translates into the regular season because 
I like that dynamic too. It also gives RJ a little bit more of an opportunity to score and be that lead dog on the on the court without Brunson and Randall being out there as well and having to distribute uh, amongst those three. I thought that was great just seeing RJ go go amongst. Just I think RJ's performance was just great tonight uh, in that regard. Yeah. For for sure. And he, you even saw, you know, I don't know how, how often they're going to go to this, but he had some some attempts at trying to create out of the post, you know, which is something mm-hmm. that with his size, if he draws a mismatch or he's going up against a smaller player, you know, why not go there, try to draw some contact, muscle your way into the paint that way, or, you know, you find somebody cutting, you find an open three-point shooter. I thought that was, that's definitely interesting because I, I noticed it in the um, – in the first game, in the first game against Detroit. So I'm wondering if, they, if they're going to go to that a little more with RJ um, out of the post. But nevertheless, man, three-pointers is looking very sharp. The corner threes are looking nice. Knocked down a few off of Julie's passes, a few off of Brunson passes. Mm-hmm. Um, so overall, I thought I thought RJ looked pretty solid. Yo, Brunson, did you see him body Miles Turner? Yeah. Just drive yeah. and use his body to, to knock him off the block? That, that was the one that- where I was like, yo, this, this is impressive. For, yo, I mean, we talked about it all last season about Jalen Brunson. You and I, like, we're we are hyping up Brunson. We we're talking about how his game, how he'd fit very well if the Knicks went at went after him before the Knicks and actually signed him this off season. But this is the type of stuff that we're looking for from a point guard, man. Because after RJ scored, Brunson then took the reins and said, "Okay, we need some offense. We can't just let RJ just go all out. Let me start get going." and help this team. And you just saw that in the second quarter, a switch just flipped and he was started to attack the paint, whether it was floaters using his footwork to create separation and knock down the mid range, whether he bodied somebody, he bodied yeah. miles Turner on the block. Turner was shocked. He, his yeah. eyes were like, Whoa, this he guy, was shell how'd he move me? He yeah. Was shell shocked. yeah, man. And he, and then you just see how he's able to draw fouls, man. Like you said, he went nine for nine from the line tonight. Just another way. It's like how he prays Emmanuel quickly by the way he can draw fouls. That's the thing to Jalen Brunson's game that, you know, we need more of. We w- You win games when you knock down a lot of free throws. And Brunson, for being a good shooter as he is, the fact that he can get. Hey, 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 what's up, what's up? How you doing? Um, so now nah, I'm, liking, I'm liking what I'm saying. It's, you know, it's preseason. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm liking what I'm seeing from. Uh, Victor one but yeah, I'm a little bit more, a little bit more, <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> a little bit more. No, no, listen, we have a proclivity. I'm about to use a CP word. Yes, to draft French players, mm. right? Oh boy, this is the one. This is the one. So hear, hear me out. We had a crazy season two years ago. Fourth seed, great, awesome. You know what I'm saying? It was a shot in the dark. Last season was a dud. We could have just put it in the, you know what I'm saying, tank, tank a thumb. We could have tanked it. Yeah. This season, as excited as everybody is, it's a crapshoot. I don't know if we're going to get last year's team or the year before. Randall doesn't really look like he's the Randall from two years ago. He kind of looks like he's a Randall from last year. I'm not going to lie to you. So, and, and he's trying to sell everybody on the tank. We're way, we're way too excited. I'm saying I, what I want to discuss it doesn't have to be this show. An injury to, you know, knock on wood. I don't want anyone to get injured. Now we talk about injuries. Player or two. <laughs> oh, what do we do? Yeah. Bars. I'm out. Yeah. Yo, man, I will let you get back to your Friday, Dark Horse, man. I will let you get back to your Friday. <laughs> He's like, hear me out. Hear me out. This may not go <laughs> the way everybody wants. It. You got people in the chat talking about 50 wins. OB for MVP. RJ's all-star. <laughs> My man just came in and threw all of that out the window. <laughs> he, said, he said, forget about all of that. Let's go get the 7-5 oh, unicorn. Man. Throw this whole season in the garbage and go get the French kid. All right, Al, man. We, we, we will uh, catch up for next weekly. So to everybody in the chat, once again, hit that thumbs up button for you boys. Go to manscaped.com and the promo code KFTV. 20% off plus free shipping. Um, and we got Anthony MSG coming through Sunday night. JD back Sunday night next weekly. Back with player expectations. Uh, yeah, man. Everybody have a good weekend. Peace.